Give me your money. <laughs> well, the new update's out and Germany got another goofy late warp prototype. This is the Zerstorer 45, and it's basically a Kugelblitz but with less armor. In return, it gets double the cannons and at a lower BR. I imagine this will shred both tanks and planes, so it should be a lot of fun. The BR placement of this is great because you're in like peak Hellcat territory, so you just shred them immediately. Ooh. Turn, turn. Okay, he's dead. Oh, so is my teammate. <laughs> we just absolutely shredded that Sherman. Oh, let's uh, reload real quick. Yeah, it's a bit deceptive because it looks like you have a ton of ammo, but it's divided by four. So just be aware of that. Oh, no. Yeah, I think I'm going to need some backup, guys. Backup, backup. <laughs> just. <laughs> oh, where is my team at? I'm going to try to flank. I don't know how well it's going to go. Ooh. Only his loader. Okay, there we go. <laughs> friendly plane or enemy? Yeah, it's friendly. Oh, wait. That one wasn't friendly. Oh, poor biplane. At least we avenged him, you know? And we got an assist on that F6? Yep. I don't know if there are any bad guys on B, though, because this guy up here keeps machine gunning, but he keeps machine gunning everything, so... I have no clue. It's not very informative. Ooh, what was that noise? That <laughs> that did not sound good. Please be a T-34. Nope, that is not a T-34. Also, I am apparently unable to damage his barrel. There we go. Nope, don't do that. Yeah, Panther, if you could do something, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Oh, excuse you, sir. <laughs> oh, he got melted. He also melted two of my crew members. That's not very good. Another plane. Severe damage. Yeah, I would say that's a bit more than severe. I would say that's pretty lethal, if you ask me. Like, no, don't do this. I want this one. See, doesn't that look so much nicer? That Hellcat got atomized, oh my god. But yeah, much like the VFW, you can fold the skirts up. However, I would not recommend it. Because it might protect you from MGs, but it limits you to facing only the front. And basically nullifies your AA capability. So, yeah, just don't do it. No thank you, sir. I knew that Hellcat was going to do that, man. I knew he was going to come back in a plane. Oh my god, dude. This thing is so good. <laughs> I love it. Oh. <laughs> I just... I can't offer meaningful commentary because I just keep laughing. Oh, another plane. Please don't kill me. That bomb is so big. Okay, we're all good. Okay, he's done so. <laughs> we took off every part of his plane. The only thing left was the engine in the cockpit. Actually eviscerated that man. Oh, please don't do that. Ow. Someone is still trying to machine gun me. At least it seems to replenish all four at the same time, so you're not doing it individually. That would take forever. I would be geriatric by the time we finished, if that were the case. Yeah, something I noticed in the first match that you should probably be aware of. We cannot depress over the back, so... Yeah, don't turn your back to the enemy. Does 6-0 just get constant 6-7 games these days? I mean, it's not terrible, but I would like to get a down tier at least once, you know? I think that'd be nice. I spawned inside of a fence. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about this. Being based on the Panzer IV, we are not the fastest vehicle out there, for sure. I cannot hear a single thing. 
tigers are so loud. Oh, I hear a Hellcat. No thank you. No thanks. Please die immediately. Thank you. I'm just gonna keep setting this guy on fire, I think. I don't think trying to push the corner and kill his gunner is the best idea. Okay, he just fired. Never mind. Well, what are you? Hellcat. Die, please. Thank you. You could die as well, please. That'd be great. Oh, that artillery is gonna kill me, isn't it? <laughs> no, dog. I can feel my impending doom. Oh, it's so close. Quick, run. Run. Wait, how did that damage my driver and no one else? That makes no sense. Okay, I think those two guys left, so we shouldn't have to worry about revenge killing. Here's something else up here. Another Hellcat, that's good. Did he just explode? No, that was someone else. Okay, I'm stupid. Yeah, if it were like a jumbo pershing, I would actually cry. I just pray that we actually have a good angle on this guy when we get up here. Okay, we melted him. Yep, melted. I see another thing we can melt. <laughs> I think we like two shot that guy. Yeah, I still don't get how that artillery damaged the least exposed crew member and no one else. Okay, I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to kill that guy for a second because he was like just barely angled. Ooh, not so tough now, are you, pal? Okay, no, he is in fact still tough. Okay, why do I feel like there was a delay on that? Uh, Panther, if you could turn around, there is a guy right behind you. This guy is absolutely oblivious. Can you expose your side to me real quick, sir? Thank you. Oh, I have, like, no ammo left. Do have seven kills, though, so it was worth it. Just gonna sneak on to the cap real quick if I don't get bombed. Let's see if we can get this guy with our last bit of ammo. Uh, we hit him. Okay, yeah, we did get him, eventually. It's not just me that thinks the new damage system for planes is very counterintuitive, right? Like, it's so difficult to tell when you've actually critically damaged someone. But yeah, this thing's a lot of fun when you fight, like, Hellcats and Shermans. Not so much when you fight Pershings or Jumbo Pershings or IS-2s. Then it's kind of rot. At that point, I would recommend the Kugel Blitz over this because, you know, you won't get machine gunned to death. And he's dead. No ACAP for you, my boy. And that's a super Pershing, so I'm not gonna push that because that is extremely scary and he's looking right at me. Get him, PLZ. You can definitely kill him. Actually, I might try to uh, troll him and just take out his vertical drive. <laughs> Good luck aiming, bozo. Oh, and he's exposed his side. Kind of, not really. Hey, we did it! Ow. Okay, that's excessive, dog. And, of course, it's the Hellcat we killed. Dude, wait a second. How did he even have spawn points to spawn in AU1? He had one assist! One assist is enough to spawn in an AU1 with a what? Like, 2,000 pound bomb? Are you serious, dude? I keep telling you guys, I wouldn't have a problem with planes if they weren't so stupidly easy to spawn. One assist, and you got a plane with bombs. If you could avoid doing that, I would really appreciate it. I have a hypertension headache now. How do you die to a Chinu 2 in a tiger? Oh, that's a jumbo. Yep, I'm not doing anything to that. Oh, pro tip, it says you get negative 7 degrees of depression. You only get that over the front. So, just something to be aware of. Oh god, is that a T25? Well, 
Well, at least I can shoot that in the meantime. It does take a while for the belts to reload, which makes sense. You're reloading four drums of 30 mil at one time. I wonder, can we ammo rack this M36? Uh, almost. Oh, say goodbye to your wingtip. <laughs> Why is it? Why is it doing that? <laughs> it reminds me of like KSP when your wing falls off. I'm not really displaying the main advantage of this because we keep getting 6.7 games, so I might as well be using the Kugel Blitz. Oh no you don't. I saw that. Oh, I wish I didn't call that artillery now. It's blocking my path. Come on, gun depression. Absolutely smoked him. Oh my goodness. Oh, another plane. Only a hit, huh? Oh, wait, that hit? I was just trying to replenish my ammo. <laughs> How is it that when I aim, I miss, but when I just fire off into the sky, it snipes his wing clean off? Oh, look, another plane. <laughs> See ya! Okay, he actually recovered from that, and he's still going for a kill. Can you just, like, crash, please? Bye. Two plus one. Twenty-one. Oh, I thought that was enemy for a second. I was about to absolutely light that up. Oh goodness, I forgot they did this. You can't even get up here anymore. By the way, in case you were expecting this to tank rounds to the hole, since the ammo is outside... Yeah, nah, it's got ammo inside too. That has killed me a lot. Oh goodness. Jumbo! See, what did I tell you, man? Look, it's gonna hit me in the hole and it's gonna one-hit kill me. What? Should I be using the API? I don't know. You'd expect that, you know, having four cannons, they'd be doing enough damage that you wouldn't really need it, but... I don't know. I've not been too impressed with the uh, damage on this so far. Hello, Hellcat. At least I believe that's a Hellcat. Yep. Please expire immediately. How are you still driving? <laughs> They melted that Sherman. Uh, I don't know how much we damaged that Jumbo. Okay, he's fairly damaged now. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Good one. You're done for. Please don't do that. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god, it's another plane! Both of them. We killed both of them. How often do you get revenge bombed twice in the same life? Once again, I think that guy had like one kill, and that was enough to spawn in a plane. Get out of my house. Go on. Strafe me. You know you want to. Oh! <laughs> Oh, he's not really damaged, like, at all, is he? Let's see here. Hopefully, that does something. No, absolutely not. We didn't even get a crit on that Corsair. Got a bit more than a hit on that guy. <laughs> Poor PT-76, I wasn't even shooting at him originally. Ow. Please do not do that. Uh, I don't know how damaged that M36 is. We are surprisingly undamaged for what we just went through. Now is the time to strike this M6. Absolutely smoked him. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's a Hellcat. That Bulldog does scare me a little bit because I think it has just enough armor to resist us. Okay, that Hellcat is immobilized and he just fired. Now he's dead. I don't know why that looks so funny to me. 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to advance. Keep me covered, guys. I thought I saw the M36. Mr. Sherman, please leave me alone. No, the stupid elevation. Okay, he is very oblivious. Thank goodness. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I No comment. No comment. Yeah, this thing is fun, but given how many up tiers we're getting, I really wish I was in a Kugel Blitz. <laughs> I think we hit his bomb. It is kind of cool that you can just melt jumbos, if they are side-on anyway. I really want to kill this anti-air. Get over here, I see you. I must... Okay, that works too. So yeah, that's the Zer Store 45. I would say it's pretty good in some niche circumstances, but overall it's uh, kind of painful to use sometimes, mostly because of the teammates. If you're expecting to use this as a tank destroyer, just know that your team will often be behind you. So I wouldn't try to be in the forefront, you know, I would try to hang back and sort of play defensively. You know, like you should, because it's an SPAA, and I'm just stupid and play it like a light tank. If you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.